Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Crime Seeker Reviews channel once again. And for those seeing my video review for the first time, welcome and I hope you enjoy the show. Today we have Studio Series 86 Star Scream. This is released as a leader class figure along with his coronation accessories as seen in the Transformers movie where he took the leadership of the Decepticons for less than a minute before being turned into ashes by Galvatron. So this is his enclosed box as you can see here. Got some details in robot and alt mode at the back. Some nice animation artwork with a smirking face and a stretcher as deceiving as he can be along with his throne. And this is the manual. So I missed out on Earthrise version of Starscream in the War for Cybertron series but I'm happy I was able to get this one for he has some improvements when it comes to his hands. And his colors are more accurate on the movie animation. But he's still the same Voyager scaled figure. It's just with his accessories that was why he was turned into a leader class figure. Yeah. But I'm happy. Really. Yeah. And so here is his accessories. Of course, his pink cape and his pauldron or shoulder armor. Along with an extra null ray blasters that you can adjust and attach on both sides of the armor. And of course, his crown. The only thing left when he got blasted by Galvatron just crushed beneath his feet. So you can put the crown on his head, of course. And as for his throne, actually you can also put the accessories on his throne, of course. He's got those rounded pegs there. You can attach the null rays here, both on the left and right side of the throne in the back, of course. And then as for the shoulder armor or the pauldrons, you can attach them underneath. And then the crown is right here in the center. Oh, excuse me. So right here, make sure it fits right or it's angled correctly or positioned correctly, of course. Come on, come on, crown. There you go. And then you attach, of course, the cape in the back. And there. So, whoops, hit the ground there. So here's a cape you attach it in the back, of course, as well. And of course, with the crown in it. And there's Starscream's throne, of course. And here's Starscream. Uh, I had the Generation one before. A smaller figure. It's basically much, basically on a large or a large version of the Generations figure of Starscream. But I'm really liking this figure. I'm happy about it. So it's got some rounded decks there as well, where you can attach the throne, uh, the cape, of course. And it's pretty, pretty much the same needles as that of the generations before. Only this time it's a uh, proper size star scream. So as I had said before, he can also sit on his throne. Which we never did get to see in the movie, of course. Because he never did really last that much once Galvatron appeared in the horizon. And it comes with details, basically the same as you can see here. It's got some hollow on the side of his torso, which is okay. As for his feet, it's more like an updated version. And you can also open the legs like this. So instead of pushing it down, you open up the front part of the legs for him to transform to his alt mode, of course. And it's very poseable, as usual, as you can see here. Very nice. So, very neat. And there. And the articulation wise, of course, he's on a ball joint. It comes with his head, so he can look up and down and rotate as well, of course. Look at that. See, up, down, up, down. His red eyes, silver face. Not too bad the mouth is not smirking or anything like that. So, the hands also move around, he can move outwards. He's got some bicep swivel elbow as well doesn't have any wrist rotation though and his arms a bit weird when it comes to the wrist because it keeps moving of course it's got some finger articulation four sets of fingers no waist rotation of course but it's got bicep i mean uh, thigh swivel i got knee articulation of course and 
got ankle rocking on the side as well. See here. So it's basically a much improved generation version of Starscream. So it's very possible and very fun to play with. And I think Hasbro would probably take some time for to update Starscream. So you can also fold the wings to the back like this, as you can see. It's got some wing movements in the back. If ever it gets in the way, if you want to pose the arms. Um, but the jet cockpit is still in the back, like that awkward kibble. But it's the same thing, so. The Transformers will return. And so we're back once again, and as you can see, it's like a miniature masterpiece. Except for this side. Look, I got a hole. An empty hollow hole. So he's got some hole pegs as well in the legs. You can attach his null rays on the sides of his knees if you want. But I don't see the purpose for that. But you can also add those weaponizers or modulators. For, with Starscream, along with these hole pegs for the War for Cybertron figures as well. And here he is with his full coronation accessories, as you can see here. I've adjusted the null rays to his um to the side of his shoulder armor or the pauldron, as you could as they call it. And you could also do this, if you wanna move his arms like this. Like he's swaying his cape as well. So it's very poseable as you can see. You can do a lot of poses for a star scream. It's like he's swinging his cape or something like that. Like a superhero or something. Though we do know that star scream is never a superhero. So yeah, you can swing his cape like this. And his arrogance and thinking like he's some kind of royalty. Pathetic, bad comedy. So here's the extra null rays as you can see. You can also put here. I do consider him like with this extra null rays here. Like um, superior or um, improved star scream. See? More weapons for Starscream. More null rays. So that's the best as he can be. But unfortunately, in the movie, he just turned into Ash. So this figure is really fun to play with. I really like it. I'm loving it. So as with the null rays. And so we're gonna transform him to his alt mode. So let's remove the null rays for now. Open up his chest and tab on the sides of the torso like this. As you can see the other half of the cockpit of the jet is inside. And you fold the cockpit along with the head inside the cockpit of course like this. Do that. And then rotate the cockpit of course. Pull it out. Rotate it. And then attach it here in the back of Starscream. There you can see the jets form. As for the arms, let's move him. It's a bit tricky opening up the arms and elbows and sliding him like this to shorten so that he could fit in the torso. And then you fold the arms like that and fold it in like this, as you can see. And then do the other arm, open forearm once again slide it in into his biceps like that and then fold the wrist 90 degrees like this and you have your arms inside his torso so you snap it back in and move these like belt and move his feet and legs towards inward like this fold it in tab it in to the other leg so this time you don't snap it or just push it you have to open the legs and then close that 
As for the feet, look, it looks like a modernized um, thrusters, not based on the F-15 Eagle fighter jet. Looks more like a thrusters of a F-35 or, or is it a, no, it's the F-22 Raptor. And then you fold the wings in the back. This, it's kind of tight. My figure is still kind of tight. So, oops. Oh. You can also pull it out the wings if you're having a hard time make sure it's all tabbed in and there you have your f-15 alt mode of starscream and of course you can attach his null race on the side and also on his wings it's like a fully armed f-15 as you can see here pretty neat unlike the mps it's all dull race, it doesn't have any missiles. I wish they'd added some accessories like a missiles for Starscream, of course. So, yep, that is alt mode. And as you can see, the tail fins, of course, is simplified, just color blue. Doesn't have the stripes that is like with um, Earthrise version, because this is more attuned to the animation, of course, with the design. And here is Starscream once again in his robot form, as you can see, just giving him another glimpse, uh, 360 degree view of Starscream, Voyager size but leader class version of Starscream. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my video once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, till next time.